Okay, I'm working on putting a reinforcing plate behind this lock to uh, keep it from spinning inside the door because this was loose in the door. And when you turn the key lock, there was too much play and it wouldn't lock the passenger side door. So the hardest part so far has been getting this out of the door. So there's this little spring clip right here that fits into this groove on the lock like so. And then these, sorry, this is hard to do. This part fits into these little lands on here and it basically spreads out and puts pressure against the back of the door so the lock can't fall out of the door. Um, the Bentley manual says to get a suitable tool and basically compress these two pieces. I was not able to do that. I couldn't, I tried needle nose, I tried all kinds of pliers to get in there, it wouldn't work. So, and what it does is it just fits around here, basically like that. Uh, what I did was I took a pick while this was still in the door, I was able to grab on this edge right there and basically pry it and then get a really long screwdriver to fit underneath that little lip and then keep prying and eventually it popped off. Um, I also destroyed it in the process. You can see it's obviously not round anymore, but that's okay because it doesn't get reused. So let me put these down and we'll go look at the door. So I didn't pull the door panel all the way off for this. I just did it halfway um, because that one was super tight and I couldn't get a tool in there and didn't feel like messing with it. So if we pull back some of this weather stripping here, you can see that um, little rod right there where my pinky finger is pointing at. That's what connects to the lock. And obviously there's your lock hole where the light's coming through. So what I've done is I got the kit from Moss Motors. It comes with this little plastic, uh, whatever, like a washer they call it. Um, there wasn't one on this car originally, so I don't know if you're supposed to use one or not. I actually made us use a little piece of rubber instead because I'm not sure I like this. That's probably gonna scratch the paint. And then I made another little rubber washer here. This is just to provide some cushion between the door and the lock. Um, it's not its not like a weather seal or anything like that. And then there is this piece with these screws on it. Let me get my camera set up again. So there's a bigger washer that goes here, which is right here. So that fits over like that. And then this piece fits in this little groove right there. You can see it doesn't it doesn't pull out. And then these two screws provide pressure there, and that's gonna hold it tight against the door. And then I'll also put that rubber washer in there too. So let me um I'm actually gonna cut a new rubber washer for this. I don't like this plastic one. I think that's just going to cause damage in the long run. So let me do that real quick, and we'll get this thing fitted up. Okay, so it's back in there. So you can't just put the lock through and I put these pieces on. You have to kind of fish it through a little bit. Get your washers over, I'll call it the that little arm, the two pieces sticking out that goes between the bar. And then start feeding it through. If you, you can't obviously can't push all the way through because you have to get that arm over the bar um, before you can put the washers on. But there's no way to bend that bar to get it through there. Um, if, hopefully that makes sense. So let me get this grub screw on. Um, it just has flathead screws on it, which you can see right there. So I doubt you'll be able to get a normal screwdriver in there, but I happen to have one of these little right angle ones. So we'll try that and get it tightened down. So I won't be able to show that on camera, but I'll show the end result. <laughs> all right, so it's all back in and tightened up. Um, I'm not real super happy with the way the lock itself is working. It's got nothing to do with this kit. It might need to be replaced, but I'll show you here that it works and everything. And this is the job done. So here's the door lock. She works, shut it. And then put the keys in, oops, this way. And 
is locked. These locks are kind of weird. You turn it all the way and then you can feel like a little, you just give it that little extra one or two degrees and then that's where it's at. So they're kind of finicky, but anyways, works for now. At least I can go to the store and lock it up. So thanks for watching, easy job. Like I said, the worst part was just getting this out of the door. Uh, the rest was simple. So hope that helps somebody. See you later.